I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I just got back from riding my bike, I don't even care. Let's dive into it. If my makeup's looking a little bad and my hair's looking a little windblown, it's because I was riding my bike, I had some errands to do today, but I am super excited to film with this. So I even, I knew this was coming today, so I put on my Roswell shirt. You guys, me and my husband went to Roswell like two years ago, absolutely loved it, and this collection is perfect. Let's get into this. So it does come with this strap here. I guess I could carry it around as a box if I wanted to, like a suitcase, but probably wouldn't do that. And then you open it up and it has the beautiful artwork there. And this is what it looks like. First things first. Yes, I am just that geeky and I went for the sunglasses first. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love them. I love them so much. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to take a thumbnail with this because this is so cool. Oh, I love those so much. Okay. Beyond all that, we do have in this collection, this makeup sponge here. And this is what the outer box packaging looks like. Oh, <laughs> is that not the cutest? And it actually has like the, sh oh my gosh. I love that. I don't think I'll ever use that. That's going to go straight back in my fandom. Not technically that this is a fandom, but I don't care. The next thing is going to be this right here, which I believe is the highlighter. And oh my gosh, you guys, this highlighter looks adorable. So this is what the outside packaging looks like. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Oh, that is so adorable. So let's see. It looks like a blue shifty highlight there. I've had a lot of blue highlighters lately. Is blue coming back as a highlighter? Not that I mind. I love my blue highlighters, but this is adorable. Next, we have the eyeshadow palette. Oh, let's see. This is adorable. I don't know what the shopping cart has to do with it. Oh, beauty supermarket. That's cute. That's a beauty supermarket. Oh, that is really adorable. And then, no! <laughs> well, one of my shades came shattered. Let me open it a little bit more carefully. That is not so bad. This shade up here did come shattered. It's probably gonna be my least used shade, so that doesn't bother me. Let me see if I can clean this up really, really quick. Okay, that is slightly better there. So uh, this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It looks like we have a neutral taupey shade there that is a matte, and then these two are mattes, and these two are mattes, and it looks like the rest are shimmers. Oh, I can't wait to play with that. That is so cute. That's adorable. But now my box is covered in eyeshadow there. Should have probably opened the box before I opened it on camera, but that's okay. And then last but not least, we have underneath this part, so it's just going to lift up, we have some lipsticks and some eyeliners here. This lipstick is so small. That's my thumb. That's the, like, this is so small. It's like a little, little mini. That amount compared to my pinky, it's like the same size as my pinky. Okay, so these are super small, which is probably a good thing, especially for this green shade, because that's probably not a shade I'm gonna use very often, but these are super tiny. Okay, you guys, so this is what we got for the lipsticks. Like I said, they are super teeny, teeny tiny. I will be swatching these for you guys, but those are the lipsticks. And then we have the eyeliners, and you guys know I love the eyeliners. I loved the eyeliners from the Lived Rum collection. They are some of my favorites. So let me get these out. And they do come with cute little band that goes around the top that you can actually take off. Like if you want to store this and you don't want this band, you could take that off. But these are going to be the eyeliners here. So that is the collection of let's get into some swatches and some trying this on. Okay, first of all, I am very glowy. Again, I was out riding my bike, but I am going to start with the highlighter because why not? I'm already glowy. Let's make it more glowy, shall we? 
So this is the highlighter here. It look, does definitely look like it has a blue shift to it. Now I just tried the highlighter from the Casper collection, you guys, and that was like a holographic highlighter. But let's try this one out here. This is what it looks like on the brush. That's a nice highlighter. Definitely not holographic, definitely just a little bit of a blue shift to it. That's really, really pretty. I do like that highlighter. So that is going to be what the highlighter looks like. I like this. I think I like the Casper one just a little bit more, but if I'm looking for a little bit less of a blue highlighter, you know what? Hold please. Because She Glam also had the Corpse Bride highlighter that had a blue shift to it as well. I'm going to swatch these two and see how similar they are. So this one here is the Corpse Bride one. And this one here is the um, Alien one. The Cosmic Come Up. So there is just a little bit of difference. This one I would say is more of a blue-green. And this one's more of a purple-blue. And this is how they look in the pan. Now, to be honest, are you going to be able to tell the difference between these two on your skin? Probably not, but if you have the Corpse Bride one and you're not buying this because you absolutely love cute collections, then I would say you probably can skip the highlighter. Let's go ahead and work with this eyeshadow palette here. I'm gonna start with this green shade here, and that is called Jupiter, and it has a little alien head in it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm gonna start with that one. And with all She Glam eyeshadows, it is very um, powdery, which does make it very blendable, but just to let you know, if you dip your brush in and you go to tap it off, you're gonna get the, it's powdery. But that green's performing. I like that green, okay. Digging it, digging it. Let's go in to this shade right here, which has a little spaceship in it, and it is called an Orbit. And let's use that to blend out the Jupiter shade. That shade is gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Now, because this is halfway through the day, I do already have mascara on, but this is what I am looking like right now. I love it. Did not have a problem with any of the shades blending. I, those greens performed beautifully. And I love green eyeshadow, in case you didn't know that. Okay, let's go into, let's try this Big Bang shade here. I have to be careful of fallout because I already have my face makeup done, but we're still gonna try it out and see what we got. That green shade's really pretty. I haven't swatched this palette yet. I'm really, really hoping that these, the rest of these shades in here are just as pretty as this because I'm really liking these shadows. Let's go into the shade Light Year. In the camera, it's looking silver, but in the pan, it kind of looks like a light mint green. Let's see how that goes on. I'm gonna switch the type of brush I'm using to a little bit more densely packed brush. Try to spray my brush and see if I can get it just a little bit more oomph. Kind of like the shade and the Live to Roam palette if you guys have that one. Um, spraying your brush usually gives it that oomph. I have no complaints about this palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. And this shade right here is a lot like the shimmer in the Live to Realm where you do have to spray your brush, but the pigment is there if you spray your brush. And it's a beautiful shade, just to let you know. I'm gonna leave the eyes right there because I have some eyeliners to play with. Okay, so these are the four shades of eyeliners. They are shimmery. They all have sparkle in it and they are all shimmery, just to let you know. We've got a beautiful silver one right there. A stunning forest green with shimmer, a black with shimmer, and a purple with shimmer. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, okay. We're gonna start out with this silver one here. They don't have shade names on it. Yeah, they don't. They don't have shade names on it. So I'm just gonna say this silver one right here, and I'm gonna do this one in the inner corner. 
Holy macaroni, that is a very pretty inner corner highlight. If you want a metallic inner corner highlight, this one is stunning. All right, let's go in for the black shimmer and see what we got for that one. Okay, you guys, I just added this purple eyeliner in the lower waterline and look how metallic purple that is. Probably the prettiest eyeliner I think I have ever used. This is beautiful. This would be great for holiday season coming up. This and the black shimmer would be really, really good for, you know, the extra glam that you want during the holiday season. But look how pigmented that purple is. Okay, I did go ahead and throw on a, another coat of mascara just to make the eyes pop a little more. I love this eyeshadow look. It is so much fun, you guys. It really, really is. Okay, I am going to go ahead and throw on some music for you guys and lip swatch these little teeny tiny baby lipsticks. So let's get into this. And I'm going to start with the nudes and work my way up to the colorful ones. Okay, guys, that is it. That is all the lipsticks that I got. These are little teeny tiny minis. So even like this green lipstick that you're like, I will never wear it. This is the perfect size for a lipstick color like this. I will never get enough use out of this color to have a bigger size, but this little teeny tiny like pinky size lipstick is perfect in that color. Now the rest of these that are a little bit more wearable shades, at least for every day, including this hot hot pink one that I don't know if you guys noticed. I was trying to tell you, they match my nails. That's pretty cool. I like that. Hey guys, I wish it was slightly bigger because I would use that a lot more. Now the purple and the greens, I do not exactly mind because that they're small because I will never use up this color, but it is a very fun color. Like, yes, please. Hello. I like that. Okay, let me go ahead and review this collection really, really quick. This is going to be your normal She Glam eyeshadow palette quality. If you have the Deco Dance collection, if you have the Live to Rome collection, the Harry Potter collection, it is all going to be the same formula as what is in this palette. You're not getting any surprises with this one, but I do appreciate how colorful and how pretty these shades are. These are stunning shades. This highlighter, if you were looking for a highlighter this color and you're not trying to buy it just because it's a cute collection and you already have the Corpse Bride one, I think they're pretty much interchangeable. They are slightly different, but on the skin, it's gonna look the same. I'm gonna get lipstick all over me. Personally, for me, I think the standout products of this collection are these eyeliners. I love these eyeliners. I love this purple, this bright, sparkly, metallic purple on the lower lash line. I think these are going to be absolutely stunning for the holiday season. And we've already discussed these little itty bitty lipsticks. I mean, they're cute. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of them, but they are definitely very, very cute. And some fun colors going on here. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this dive into the new She Glam Cosmic Come Up collection. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you picked anything for this collection up down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.